Hey, what is going on, guys? My name is James. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe and turn on the post notifications to be notified of future content. Today, we are going to be discussing the top 10 Clone Wars minifigures from Season 7 that need to be made. So, if that sounds interesting, let's get straight into the video. Alright, coming in at the number one spot, we have the Bad Batch. So, we need to get these four figures, maybe in the Bad Batch shuttle, something like that would be really amazing. They're really prominent characters in the first arc of Clone Wars Season 7. So, honestly, at this point, I don't see how they couldn't get made. So, definitely, definitely very likely to see them. Coming in at the number two spot, we have the Techno Union Droids. They're the skinny little droids that were kind of swarming them. I think that'd be a really cool minifigure and definitely not too likely that they'd make that figure, but definitely a neat idea. Alright, coming in at the number three spot, we have Clone Trooper Echo, or I guess former Clone Trooper. So this would be the experimental version that the Techno Unions were using them for. So they could do a new hand mold for that little thing that can plug into the computers and kind of link with those. That'd be a cool mold on his hand. Alright, coming in at number four, we have Admiral Trench. This is a not so likely figure that they'd make, but I think it'd be really cool to get him in his half robotic form after he was blown up in like season two of Clone Wars. Alright, coming in at number five, we have Clone Trooper Jesse. So, honestly, at this point, I don't see how they couldn't make him. He's a really cool Clone Trooper, prominent in the first and last arc of Clone Wars Season 7. And definitely, they can't, something, someone they can't pass up. Alright, coming in at number six, we have just any figure from the Pike Syndicate. So, literally, any figure of this form would be really cool to see. Alright, coming in at the number 7 spot, we have Trace and Rafa Martiz. So, um, they would be really neat figures to see, and definitely something LEGO would make. I don't see why they wouldn't make them. Alright, next up at number 8, we have Bo-Katan. Definitely a neat figure that would go well with any Mandalorian set, like a Gauntlet Starfighter. At number 9, we have Gar Saxon which could go along with a Mandalorian Gauntlet Starfighter along with Bo-Katan or something like that. Coming in at number 10, we have the most expected figure to be on this list, Phase 2 Cody and Rex. So obviously we have Phase 2 Rex already, but he's so hard to get that we need a new one. And Phase 2 Cody has never been made, so honestly at this point we need him and he's in Clone Wars Season 7. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and comment down below what I should do next. And like always, have a great day.